Hello everyone, welcome to Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. We we'll kind of do an evening catch-all here. Thought I just welded this gate up for the new fattening pens. And they're getting all the feed together to go down and feed the pigs. Right, Jen? Right. <laughs> I didn't hear what you say. I just said right. I said you were getting all the feed together to go feed the pigs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you following me, Red? Huh? What are you doing, boy? Hmm? I wanted to come down. Actually, I've been so busy doing other things today, I haven't even seen these pins that we had the water catastrophe in. anyway. We're gonna have to muck this one out though and dry it out before we put a pig back in there. Tomorrow's project. This one wasn't so bad so we're just gonna add rice hulls to it. That one, the rice hulls in this one have to be taken out. I'll weigh something. Watch where you're walking, buddy. Yeah, those fattening pans are going to be done none too soon. These little gals here are getting a little bit crowded. They're all looking good. We've got two little pigs in here that have hernias that are going to be leech on pretty quick. Maybe actually worried that coconut right there enough to where it's, the fibers are coming out of it. <laughs> Now that's a, I guess that's the way you guarantee you're going to get something to eat is lay in the feed tray. Let's go over here, Red, and see what we're doing in the fattening pen. Things haven't been fed yet. Hopefully they won't be too noisy. We can get this video done. What is going on with you, Brownie or Blackie, whoever you are? What's up? Hmm? We're putting the cement uh, around the edge here. We're going to level it. That's what that string in there is for. We're using riffraff, uh, the cement that we've taken out of the pens, and kind of leveling this up a little bit. It's just too much to use all cement and sand, mix it all. Uh, complete. It's not nearly, since this is at an angle here, you know, the cement's only going to be a few inches deep on this end, but if it would be like 10 inches deep down there, and it's just too much fill. So, the, the cement, the, the chunks that are in the bottom there are going to be taken out and used around the edge here, because this is all going to be cemented. So it's not going to stay in there. And that's going to be taken out. Well, here comes, they must be here in the feed coming. Well, they've calmed down enough, enough now to where you can probably hear me. Uh, anyway, yeah, all that, all the cement in the bottom is going to be taken out. And actually, they're going to go down another couple inches. They don't know it yet, but they are. Uh, where that cement is, it's going to, it needs to be dug down at least another four inches. So, uh, cement all the way around that's going to be the pool over there 
You know, the feeder is going to start right here and go down to at least that end. It may go around the corner a little bit as well. I don't know how Top Dad's got that planned yet. And the end of this one is going to be dug down as well. We'll go and see how the boilers are doing. It'll be that much less noisy over there. Now, a subscriber, Lance, come on buddy, had asked why uh, we're not putting rice hulls in here, and uh, the answer is we are. I haven't done a video in here in three or four days. It, with the rain, this got pretty slimy in here, so I brought in four sacks of rice hulls and I just put them along here and the chickens have done the rest I just put piles of rice hulls in here and they've all kicked it up underneath and spread it out how are you guys doing huh obviously pretty dang well they're really growing and they're a little short on feed right now I don't know why they're out of feed. Yeah, this one's about empty too. It's hard to keep up with them. They start eating so much and you think you've got it figured out how much that they eat and how much to fill the feeders up and then uh, three days later they're eating more feed. So I'm going to go over and get them some feed and fill these up. This one here is empty. I'm going to go around and check on the other side. Keep from knocking that over on myself. What's that, Red? Oh, Red's full of energy. Yeah, this one still has about four spoons of feed in it. Yeah, definitely need, definitely need to be filled up. I wonder if anybody's collected the eggs yet today. And the answer would be. Yes, since there's no eggs in here. Went ahead and moved all the chicks over into this side. And yeah, they're big enough now to take care of themselves, even with the adults. Man, slow down, Rocket Man. Jen gave uh, Red a spoon of caramel about half an hour ago, and man, it just, this boy is lit up. What are you doing, Red? He's just running circles around me. Well, burn off that sugar. That's the difference between kids here and kids in the West. Even when they get sugared up, they're burning it off. Instead of sitting in front of the television. Hey, I'm gonna go get their feed. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.